So here we're going to take another look at a factor by grouping problem. Suppose I have 4ax plus 14ay minus 10bx minus 35by. The first thing I want to do is see if there's a common factor that exists among all of my terms. So is there a common factor that exists in these four things? There is no common factor for all four. Well, that's fine. The next thing I recognize is that I have four terms. So that means that I'm going to try to do this factor by grouping method here in hopes that I can get this to come out. So here are my groups. I'm going to create a group around the 4ax and the 14ay. And I'm going to create a group around the negative 10bx and the negative 35by. As I look at my first group, I notice that I have a common factor of a 2a. If I factor out a 2a from that first group, I'll be left with a 2x and then a 7y. So I have 2a times 2x plus 7y. Now as I prepare to factor out a common factor in the next group, again, I have the goal of generating this 2x plus 7y thing over again. All right, now I notice both my terms are negative. I have a negative 10 and a negative 35. That indicates to me that I should probably try factoring out a negative number. And the common factor between 10 and 35 is 5. Now they also have a b in common, so I'm going to factor that out as well. After I factor out a negative 5b, I'll be left with a 2x and then a positive 7y. And I'm in really good shape here because both of my parentheses have the same terms. So that's going to allow me to factor this part out as my common factor, 2x plus 7y, and then I write in parentheses the stuff I have left, the 2a and the negative 5b. So 2a minus 5b.